Someone who has been diagnosed with diabetes will be familiar with how it feels to have high blood sugar. But for the millions of people walking around with diabetes or prediabetes and unaware of it, knowing the signs of high blood sugar could prompt them to seek care and get a diagnosis as soon as possible. Still, there are many signs of high blood sugar in the short and long term that it doesn't hurt to be conscious of, especially if you are at elevated risk. Early on, high blood sugar can make you feel off in a variety of ways. Feeling tired may be the most common early sign of high blood sugar. Of course, tiredness is a pretty nonspecific symptom and can even be a sign of low blood sugar. If you notice fatigue regularly occurring right after you eat, though especially a carbohydrates-heavy meal, it may have to do with rising blood sugar levels. People will say, I want to nap after lunch or I just cannot open my eyelids after dinner. Often after eating something like a lot of pasta or potatoes or sweets in any case, it's a sign to see someone. By the way, if you haven't subscribed us yet, hit the subscribe button right now for more amazing videos like this, and click the bell icon and make sure you won't miss any updates. The kidneys can absorb glucose up to a certain level. This maximum capacity, known as the tubular maximum for glucose, ranges from 260 to 350 mg per minute per 1.73 square meter in healthy adults and children and corresponds to a plasma glucose level of approximately 200 mg per deciliter. When you have too much sugar in your blood, your kidneys start trying to pour out more sugar to get rid of it. And as they excrete the sugar, they pull out a lot of water with it. This makes you have to visit the bathroom more than usual. As a result of this frequent urination, your body lost a lot of water and finally end up being dehydrated. People start feeling thirsty all the time. We can identify that it become more common in diabetic patients where more you urinate, the thirstier you are and the more you drink, the more you urinate and so on. Not everyone with diabetes will experience headaches. People with a recent diagnosis of diabetes may experience headaches more often because they are still trying to manage their blood sugar levels and find a regimen that works. For others with diabetes, headaches typically develop because of changes in blood sugar levels. High blood sugar, or hyperglycemia, may occur when your blood glucose levels too high, usually at least over 180 mg per deciliter, or 10 mmol per liter. If you have diabetes and are insulin resistant, or are not producing enough insulin, the glucose from your food cannot be absorbed by your cells for energy. That causes the glucose to build up in your bloodstream, which then leads to high blood sugar. Unlike low blood sugar headaches, high blood sugar headaches tend to develop slowly over a few days or weeks. As your blood glucose levels continue to rise, you might notice that your headache gets worse and worse. When there is excess sugar in the blood, it can affect some unexpected areas in the body like your eyes. Here extra sugar gets trapped in the lens in the middle of the eye, causing a blurred effect. When blood sugar levels are high for a long time, body water is pulled into the lens, causing it to swell. Damage can sometimes go unnoticed until it leads to serious vision problems. This damage is called retinopathy, which means disease of the retina, and they might start to bleed into the eye. Diabetes can be associated with an increased risk of nausea. One of the signs that you might have diabetic ketoacidosis is the presence of nausea. Diabetic ketoacidosis happens when the blood sugar cannot enter the cells so that the cells of the body must break down fat in order to use the fat for fuel. A byproduct of fatty acid metabolism is the presence of ketones in the blood and urine, which can lead to metabolic acidosis and secondary complications, including nausea. Other than that, it can cause stomach pain, trouble breathing, dry or flushed skin, fruity smelling breath, or difficulty paying attention. Uncontrolled diabetes mellitus can also cause uncomfortable dry mouth or xerostomia. Dry mouth is a common symptom in both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Not everyone with diabetes will experience it though. People with diabetes are more susceptible to dry mouth because of high glucose levels in their blood and saliva. In addition to your mouth feeling constant symptoms of xerostomia can also include rough feeling tongue, dry cracked lips, sores on the inside of your lips, sores on your gums, overall pain throughout your mouth, discomfort eating and swallowing food and bad breath. Glucose is present in your saliva as well as your blood. When there's too much of it, it helps harmful bacteria in your mouth grow and combine with food particles to create plaque. 
This leads to issues like tooth decay, cavities, gingivitis and gum disease. High blood sugar levels can affect your body's circulating system as well by stiffening the blood vessels. As circulation slows down, blood moves more slowly, which makes it more difficult for the body to deliver nutrients to wounds. As a result, the injuries heal slowly or may not heal at all. This may occur more often on the feet. High blood sugar can cause diabetic neuropathy, which damages the nerves that send signals from your hands and feet. Over time, high blood sugar levels can damage the small blood vessels which supply blood to the nerves in your body. This prevents essential nutrients reaching the nerves. As a result, the nerve fibers can become damaged and they may disappear. Diabetic neuropathy can cause numbness or tingling in your fingers, toes, hands, and feet.